Hello everyone and welcome to this very first video here on emediocompositions.com. Uh, my name is Aurel Gruber, I'm from Switzerland and I'm a 3D artist and I work with Blender. Now I've used Blender for about three to four years now and I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, Blender is a 3D content creation suite and it's an open source application which means it is free. But as it is with most open source applications, you don't have like a support hotline or something like that. So the users and the community is supposed to help itself. And therefore, it is quite valuable to have some kind of tutorials, online tutorials, that are free. Because um, the easier your first steps in application are, the more likely it is that you're going to stick with it. And this is also how I learned to use Blender. I mainly followed online tutorials kind of gathering information all over the place and you know what I missed most was kind of a decent um, beginner tutorial or tutorial series where you kind of are supported from the very start and that's actually what I th what, so I thought you know let's let's change that and after three years now I thought it's about time to um, give something back to the community so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make um, a little tutorial series here um, and this is like the, a very rough outline here. Uh, the intro is what I'm recording right now. And then from there I'm just going to make a few tutorial series. The first one's going to be first steps in preparation. And in this section I'm just going to make a few tutorials about your very first steps. And um, how you're supposed to approach Blender. I'm going to show you around the interface, the user interface. And I'm going to show you most of the panels, buttons, functions and things in Blender. And then from there I'm going to make a few tutorial series like this one, a throwing knife. This is the first one I guess I thought. Um, it's about actually modeling and um, texturing a knife and then animating how it's thrown towards some target, for example a uh, tree trunk or some other thing. And then there's tutorial 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And as you can see here it also says preparation. And that just means that whenever we make a slightly complex tutorial series about, for example, fluid simulation or smoke simulation or something. I'm gonna make a pre-tutorial, so to say. So when you actually start a tutorial series, you already have some kind of background and some kind of knowledge about what's going on. And yeah, um, one other thing that is quite important to me is that you know that below each video there's gonna be some kind of comment section. Whether that, whether that is on YouTube, Vimeo, or my own webpage, whatever. And please give me your feedback, give me your ideas, or um, things I could improve on, or whatever. Um, I hope we'll get along, I hope you can learn something. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.